As you know, Ajamu, I did have the opportunity to interview Peter Dow, Corner West's new campaign manager. And uh, I saw that you put out a tweet, and I was wondering if it was in regards to Peter Dow becoming that new campaign manager. You said, today's radicals were yesterday's liberals. Have some humility, folks. Critical analysis is good. Petty bourgeois, know-it-allism, and arrogance informed by being a radical for two weeks is dangerous and not welcome. I thought that was an amazing tweet, brother. Was that in regards to the the dust up about Peter Dow being the campaign manager or just in general? Well, I mean, of course, you know, we you respond to things that are happening in, in current time. And so there was some 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 connections. But is is a is it was in general also because there is this tendency among uh new radicals. Uh, who have been liberals for most of their lives, who now finally who finally woke up and saw uh, the contradictions and were honest enough to see the contradictions and courageous enough to to go forward, uh, then they get self-righteous. And I'm just suggesting to them, remember when you uh, cried when uh, Barack Obama was, was elected, okay? <laughs> All right? <laughs> you know, have some humility. Is a process. Most radicals were, in fact, liberals, and I've always argued, Tim, that it was it was the the honest liberals who ended up uh, going to the next level, the next stage, you know, because they were able to transcend their uh, their their class their class positions, their their class uh, uh, privileges. Uh, they understood that uh, ultimately you have to have radical change in this country if we had a a, a prayer to try to address the issues of, of collective humanity. So, you know, keep that in mind. Remember when you were unconscious, when you thought certain things, you know? So, you know, your responsibility as a newfound radical is to help other people to deal with these kinds of questions. Not to look down your nose, but, you know, we have in this culture this tendency toward elitism. And it's a constant struggle we have to engage in. And again, we don't even confront the elitists in an uh, antagonistic way. We struggle with people. You see, as organizers, we have to, we remind ourselves that there's no such, that this process is a process of development, okay? And you, we, we, we stress over and over again to young organizers, you gotta have two things if you're gonna be an effective organizer. Uh, patience and a real love for the people, okay? Because organizing is 80% human skills, right? So don't, be frustrated because you you run into someone and they've been infected with all of the the bourgeois ideas that you are exposed to in this kind of backward culture. Okay, so a uh, Peter Dow, you know, you have to take someone by their by what they say and then what they start doing. So if he says that he is recognized, he said it that he was basically a Democrat Party thug and enforcer. Uh, but he's moved away from that. He recognizes certain things, uh, and that's manifested in work that he's doing, like when he got with the uh, Marion Williams' campaign, you know, liberal, but liberal kind of rad, uh, radical kind of thing, and now wanting to uh, work on this Cornell West campaign. You know, you know, you know, you, get, you take someone at, at, at their word and you watch, but you watch them. I think the other part of that, too, was that people who don't know much about this campaign stuff, they put too much um, emphasis on like a campaign manager. And there's a weird kind of race thing involved in that, too. Ain't nobody going to be telling Cornell West and his wife what to do. OK, this is their campaign. OK, this notion of some smart white folks coming in and taking over is absolutely ridiculous. But if you don't know black folks and sophisticated black folks and you got your own sort of white supremacist biases then you might think that could be a possibility but no uh a campaign manager is more a technician than anything else okay so that was part of it so i had two sort of audiences in those in those comments hey family enjoyed this snippet with ajamu baraka i know right check this there's so much more Tim Black and Ajamu dived into, from the intricacies of Dr. Cornell West's campaign to the heated debate over Trump's prosecutions and Biden's polling nosedive. Plus, 
We delve deep into the ongoing debate between progressives and liberals over class and race. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on this enlightening conversation. Click the link to watch the full episode now. It's a new day.